If you love yourself some Jack Skellington, you're gonna love this rock painting design. Let's get started. I'm gonna start out using a compass and a chalk pencil to get a circle on the top of this rock. I'm also gonna use my turntable to help me rotate the rock and get a nice solid circle on the top of this rock. It's not exactly shaped square or any perfect shape, so I just wanna use the compass to make sure the circle looks good. Then I'm gonna take a chalk pencil and draw in Jack Skellington's eyes. They're kind of oddly shaped, kind of egg-shaped, and then his nostrils. And then I'm gonna come back in with a Posca PC1MR paint pen and get an outline around his eyes. And after I get the outlines in, I'm going to actually fill this in with black paint because it's a little easier. This rock is bumpy and I don't wanna ruin my paint pen. His mouth is actually very simple. You just need kind of a nice wide smile and then you're gonna put a bunch of little lines like stitches across his mouth. I want this rock to maintain the light color when I put resin on it, so I'm gonna do a coat of Mod Podge around the rock, and I'm not quite sure why I decided to do it this way, but I'm doing everything but his face to start out, and then I come back and do his face later in the design. Next, I'm gonna take this sequin black metallic black paint, and I'm just gonna add a coat of it over the smile, the nostrils, and the eyes. This paint is really pretty. It has just a tiny bit of sparkle in it, so it'll be neat to catch the light once we've got resin on the rock. And if you were wondering why I was doing the eyes and the nose and the mouth before I had a background color on, it's because our background is going to be made entirely of dots. So I'm still using that metallic black sequin paint and I'm using large dotting tools to make large dots and then I'm sizing down as I go and now here comes the second round of Mod Podge. No idea what I was thinking, why I didn't just do it all at once, but you know, we do silly things. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back to the black dotting tools and just continually keep sizing down and filling in the empty space with black dots. And as you keep sizing down and filling in that negative space, it creates a background effect, but with the dots. So it becomes really critical when you get down to the tiniest dotting tools, because that's where you can create the detail that creates like a nice circle outline around his head. So filling in the large spot with large dots first, and then just gradually, gradually going down and down and down until you're at very tiny metal dotting tools to fill in all the detail space. And we're gonna do the same thing with Jack Skellington's face and white paint. You'll notice I'm not using quite as large of a dotting tool to start out, and that's just because his face is a smaller area to cover. So I'm starting with this one, and then I'm gonna gradually size down. And as I get to the very, very smallest dotting tool, you'll notice that that's how the detail comes out. So the detail becomes even more critical in his face because we have his eyes, his nostril, and then that smile is super difficult. So you gotta get in there and really make sure that there's a contrast between the black paint and the white paint, but it's really fun to watch it come to life. I don't know what's been going on with me the last few months, but I've definitely been on a dotting kick, and this just struck me as the perfect design. It's easy to do, so it's not a lot of details, but you can get in there and create a really unique design. I need to replace my glow-in-the-dark paint, but I was thinking how fun it would be to mix the white and the glow-in-the-dark paint so that this rock would also glow in the dark. So that might be an idea for someone else. Even still, I'm super happy with the way this rock came out. You can see the slight sparkle in the metallic black paint 
and it really pops with the resin and then you can also see how I carried the black dots sort of down off the side of the rock and let them fade into the rock. I'm really happy with this one and I'm really excited to see yours if you decide to make it. I'm a little sad that this is the last design for Rocktober 2022, but thanks as always for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care.